Am I the asshole, if I told a close family friend that her husband cheated on her 4 years ago? So my situation is a little difficult so I thought I would confide in the good professional people of Reddit. Couple days ago me and my brother were hanging out late night doing regular guy things drinking, watching sports, etc. We haven't seen each other in maybe 5 to 6 years so naturally we started talking about life and what's been going on the past few years. Towards the end of our conversation we started to get to the secrets I mentioned something along the lines that I smoked weed for the first time and did various other substances, this was hard for me to tell because my whole life I was pretty much anti-drugs and such, we both laughed about it saying just don't let mom find out the joke died out after a little bit and then he just blurted out I cheated on my wife. At first it didn't register until I saw his face and he was dead serious, I for one hate cheaters, but I try to do my best not to judge anyone for their actions. He begins explaining this was something that happened about 4 years ago when his wife was always busy with work. She would travel a lot and be away for weeks at a time. He told me they were going through a tough time back then lots of arguing, not communicating, and that he felt really lonely. During the same time my brother met a girl at his local gym, started off as friends, slowly kept bonding and you guess they did the sex. He told me this occasion only happened once and pretty much cut her off after that night because he started to feel guilty for a short while few months later his relationship turned for the better for him and his wife. Pretty much after his wife's travels slowed down his whole relationship has been great. They've both gotten promotions, bought a house, more family vacations. They have a kid, he told me life has been good to him now and he's just thankful things have finally worked out. As stated before I hate cheaters and I've always felt that the person being cheated on always has the right no. I know for sure this would probably destroy their marriage and there would be a fight for the kid. My heart tells me I have to tell her because it's the right thing to do, especially because I've known my brother to cheat one other time on an ex-girlfriend couple years before his current wife. My brain tells me it's none of my business and I should keep my mouth shut. I don't want to see their kid go throughout that kind pain either. On one hand I betray my brother if I say something on the other hand I betray our close family friend because I know this secret and I don't say anything. I wish he never told me, ignorance is truly bliss. So there it is, whipped if I said something? TLDR, brother cheated on his wife years ago because he was depressed, now everything is better and he told me about it, but now I feel obligated to tell his wife because she's a close friend. Wibda? Edit, I'm referring Sil as close family friend because my family and her family have known each since elementary school days and thus are very close lol. I thought this iteration would make the relationship sound stronger than just Sil, but it looks like I was wrong. Second edit, while this is on the front page, I never intended nor expected this blow up as it did. I'm sorry I can't reply to everyone, but there will be some kind of update. Am I the asshole? For not bringing up a co-worker's pregnancy? So I started working for a new office in May and everyone seemed nice. About a month and a half and I noticed that one of my co-workers who I worked pretty closely with looked bigger. Then as time went on it was more so her belly that looked bigger. Not to be rude. But she was already kind of on the heavier side when I first started, but it did get to a point where I am nearly positive she was pregnant. The thing is, I've been raised to never being up another woman's pregnancy until they mention it first. God forbid you are wrong about something like that. For the last few weeks I've been on the lookout for little clues from her or other co-workers talking about it, but I've heard nothing. Finally one day, we are imming each other about work things. I bring up that I'm going to be away for a few days and ask if she can do one of the tasks I've absorbed from her older responsibilities. She says of course and then I ask her if she has any travel plans coming up. She says she will be out when the baby comes. I give her a big congrats and she says she thought I knew because she's discussed it several times with me. The thing is, she totally has not. I know mommy brain is a thing so I just let it go and say I'm sorry, I don't recall. She has been weird with me for a week over it. I can kind of get why she might be upset. In her mind she probably thinks that I think she is way fatter than she actually is and that probably doesn't feel great. Should I have just chanced it and brought up her pregnancy once I was almost positive? Am I the asshole? If I called CPS on a girl my roommate had over last night, I got home yesterday at around 6.30pm and found my roommate, who is a very good friend, had invited over. But there's more, she had brought her 2-3 to three year old boy who was pretty adorable. Now keep in mind that I am a parent myself of a 3 year old boy and a 5 year old boy, so I'm very protective of kids so I might be overthinking things, but I don't think I am. 
When I got there they had the kids sitting in the family room watching children's shows, but the TV was muted and she had her music blasting really loud instead. Now this music was, in my opinion, music that a 2-3 to three year old boy shouldn't be listening to for at least 10-13 to 13 more years. As an example, when Khan's Y'all Want a Single came on, she goes on guy love this one and turns it up even louder, to the point where we can barely hear each other talk. Now I wanted to point out that my friend was pretty drunk at this point so I don't think he even realized anything was going on with the child because I know he wouldn't have been okay with it either, having a 2 year old and a 3 year old himself. Around 8 pm I went and hid in my room cause she annoyed me, and for the next 2 hours I would say about 90% of the time this little boy was crying, and she either ignored it or would scream at him to shut up. He then went quiet, and about half an hour later I heard them go up to his room. I went out to see what happened to the boy and I saw him curled up in a little ball on the floor next to the couch in just a diaper. The ceiling fan above him was on and he was freezing to the touch, so I put a blanket over him but otherwise didn't want to move him. I went over and I'm doing the dishes for about 10 minutes when I hear him wake up and start crying. I sat there for about 30 seconds to see if she was going to come down and take care of him. But when she didn't I went over to him and told him everything was gonna be okay and put my arms out to see if he'd let me pick him up, and he basically ran right into my arms. I rocked the little guy to sleep and held him for probably 5 to 10 minutes because I had a sneaking suspicion that he doesn't get much physical parental cuddles from mommy and all kids need that. I then laid him on the couch and put the blanket back over him, whipped if I called CPS? The reason I haven't yet and the reason I have been going back and forth in my head all day is because, well I've read and heard way too many horror stories about the system, and wonder if he would really be better there. I also know that she got full custody and if she was a better option for that child, the dude must have been a piece of shit. Granted the system doesn't always work in that case, my kids are with my ex-wife most of the time and she is almost as bad as this woman was. Needless to say I wasn't able to sleep much last night. Please help, I'm torn. Am I the asshole? If I told my brother his boyfriend is transgender, my, 20 meters, brother, 23 meters, is a dating a guy, also 20, who used to be in my class in school. The kid is FTM trans and has been transitioned for a long time, 9 plus years. The guy has presented fully male for as long as I've known him and you can't tell he's trans at all. He's around 5 feet 9 inches, has a jawbone to kill and grows a decent about of facial hair. However, he has not told my brother he is trans. In fact, the only reason I know he is trans is because there was a rumor going around school about him being trans, and I asked him directly when they first started dating, in which he confirmed he was but he hates talking about it. He and I had a conversation in which the BF said that he saw no need to tell my brother he's trans, as it's not like they're ever going to have biological children together, and he hasn't had to come out since he was like 11 as he has always been lucky enough to pass for male very well. He has had bottom and top surgery. He is also covered in tattoos, and his scars are very hard to see. I saw him shirtless at a graduation pool party a couple years ago. I know it's not my business to tell my brother, but he made it clear he is not going to tell him. I feel like this is important knowledge medically, and because I just feel my brother has a right to know. I don't think it would change my brother's opinion of him whatsoever, but I know he might be upset that his BF didn't tell him himself. I'm very conflicted and will probably go with whatever answer is given here tbh. Wibbed it whatever. Am I the asshole? For a wedding conversation gone wrong? Somehow my GF, 23F, and I, 28M, got to talking about marriage and wedding rings. We've been together almost 3 years. I mentioned how a co-worker's husband spent 6k on an engagement ring and I was like yeah, I wanna go under that. My GF looked up the average price of a ring and said it was about 6k and I believe my words were yeah, you're not getting that, which I admit probably stung but wasn't what I meant. Then, to compound all this, we got to talking about weddings and I talked about how much money they are and how I didn't want to blow through all my savings just for one day. Then she said you know girls plan this stuff since they're, like, 8, right? And I said yeah and then she went quiet, she cried off and on all day yesterday and it completely ruined both of our days. At night she said some very scary things and it seemed way too overboard for what had happened. Reddit, I just think the whole marriage culture is a money pit. I'm fine with a solid ring and a nice, decent wedding, but I did not at all expect this reaction from her. I would have been fine with a rational conversation, but I didn't get that. I'm probably an asshole for the way I phrased my overall message, but I'm asking more generically, am I the asshole in this situation? Am I the asshole? For not wanting to go watch my daughter cheerlead at football games, using a throwaway and on mobile. I wrote this fairly quickly, 
so apologies for any errors. My husband and I have three children, 10F, 14F, and 17 meters. We are a pretty athletic and active family. My husband and I both have coached soccer since we graduated college. All three of our children play soccer competitively, and the older two also play for their high school. Combined, they also play basketball, tennis, and track. Needless to say, we are all extremely busy during sports seasons. My 14-year-old decided she also wanted to try out for high school cheerleading, which was new for her. She made the squad and is really enjoying it so far. And thankfully, most of her cheerleading will be on Friday nights for football games so she can do both her fall sports without much overlap. We are part of a small school district, so we all very much encourage sharing athletes and playing multiple sports. The only issue is that Fridays for the past few years have been the only evening my husband and I can really see each other and spend time together, and so we don't plan on going to every single football game to watch our 14 years slash o cheer. We will go to every competition and quite a few home games, we went to the last two games and enjoyed our daughter cheering and having fun. But there will be some Fridays that we want to spend at home. My daughter thinks that since we go to every home and away game for other sports we should also come to every home and away game for football to watch her cheer. This is where I might be the asshole, I don't think just cheering at a game is the same as a cheerleading competition or a game that she, herself, is playing in. She got angry at my husband and I when I told her we aren't going to be there this Friday. There were tears and door slamming and she accused us of only caring about soccer. While we both coach soccer, my husband and I have been extremely supportive and encouraged our kids to do whatever activity or sport that makes them happy. Ida for not wanting to go to every football game my daughter cheers at. Edit, I didn't tell her that I think her regular cheering is not as important as competitions or games. I told her we have had quite a few long weeks in a row, true, and we were going to stay in this Friday, but would make the next one. Sorry I wasn't clear, I can see how I worded it to sound like I explained my thoughts to her. Edit 2, sorry because people keep making the same suggestion to skip away soccer games. I am the girls head coach, and I can't miss soccer games except for emergencies. My husband does the same for the boys and we typically play on moan slash 2a slash Thursday we do occasionally miss winter slash spring sports events that my other kids play, not just my 14 years slash o. Update, I was home with my 11 years slash o who was sick today, and when 14 years slash o came home from school a little bit ago she actually apologized and we talked about everything. We sat down with a football schedule and we talked about which games she really wants us at. Thanks everyone for your comments, though some of you seem a little crazy lol. Fall is an extremely hectic time for all of us and I want to make sure my children feel loved and heard. I think I've just been really craving alone time with hubby because we've had a really rough few weeks, and I brushed off my daughters once too quickly. I'm going to make sure we all communicate better as the season progresses. 14 years slash o and I are soon leaving for the soccer fields because we have a big rivalry game tonight. Thanks again everyone. Thank you for watching this fantastic story. Please tap one of the four videos on the screen for another amazing top reddit stories.